But, uh, hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed 2 adventures here in the wonderful world of Assassin's Creed. We're going to be, firstly, visiting our dear friend Leonardo, as said last time. We're probably going to be saving the Doge of Venice using a flying machine. It's basically an air glider. Air glider. Hang glider? Eh. Let's go. Save a doge. Not that kind of doge, but really it would have be hilarious. Leonardo. The doge. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? It'd be hilarious. Can the little really dog, fly? the doge. I don't know. Being targeted it's by the Templar. They would target him. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad Me. at like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. For science, the first hang glider. Test Leonardo's flying machine. We need to test it and then use it. Why can't the test flight be specifically to so, go and save the dude? Work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation. Well, birds direction. also have hollow bones. Good luck, Ezio. I forget how prevalent this is. But th that's such a cool shot if it weren't for the fact that part of my cape, like, went through. Oh, there's a wall! Why am I crashing? This is ridiculous. Palazzo's too far away. Woo. Diablo, I give up. I'm gonna end up killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. With grace, and booty. That is how a bird does fly. The simple thing is, at least I landed in the water. I think. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! He's so happy oh, while I'm Ezio, disappointed you now. See, Pretty far. Very far! Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way Rocket to the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo had the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... <laughs> Hey, it's not the machine's fault. <laughs> he protects it's his mine. poor bar darling baby from insults. Prince. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Fire! Fire! Eureka! Of course! We'll light the thing on fire. That'll make it fly. It rises. It needs fire. Oh no, they're gonna... Oh yeah, they're gonna put bonfires across the city. Leonardo, what good Not is one, one mini. fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? The hot air, rising. Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men moving behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. I like this kind of crazy heist feel going on. Well begun is half done. That's a good saying. Like, it kind of rhymes. Kind of rhymes. It begins with an un. Begun. Done. I know it's just like... I, I could have sworn that I heard like a different kind of similar saying. Though that could just be the measure twice, cut once. Take care of the guards so Antonio and his men can light the fires needed to provide lift for the flying machine. What? Don't want to see them? So, don't want them to see a giant flying abomination over <laughs> San Marco? Talk to the hand. Oh, I really need to get out of here. They're gonna see. Who did this? Uh, pay no attention to the man climbing the ladder. He did nothing. 
Also, while we go across the rooftops, once more lamenting my poor darling, the the throwing knife who can't do anything. Uh, I was uh, looking into multi-streaming on YouTube, and I'm just kind of measuring out the what needs to be done there. I was debating on doing it tonight, but I was like, eh, at the same time, I haven't... Uh, Oh, that's just the guy that, uh... <laughs> that's the boat I rode in on. Well, I guess we're going across the bridge. But... Oh, fuck. Game is very rude. But... The main reason that I didn't do the multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch tonight... Just to, like, get it tested out since... I'm affiliate! I do not suffer! Twitch's madness... Is, uh, mostly just because... Uh, what's the word? What's the thought process? Oh yeah, because I haven't put the pop pop pop, haven't uploaded all of the Assassin's Creed two to YouTube yet. I need to start doing that and then go into looking how I'd want to. Hmm. So many people yelling at me in the game world. Sellers, heralds, but back to the thing, yeah, I just haven't uploaded all of uh, Assassin's Creed 2 to YouTube yet, so I just think that it would be a bit wonky to be like, hey, you know the series that I haven't uploaded here yet? Have stream six of it. This is ridiculous. Vincenzo was supposed to take my shift an hour ago. My wife is going to murder me if I miss dinner again. I'm so, I feel so sorry for these guys. They have to die. It's not like we're guarding the doge. What the hell are we guarding anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big party. Really I'm sorry. You ask <laughs> so sorry. They had personality and a wife. But I have a doge to save. That's a lot of money. Uh, not as much money as I make through my villa. But nice to know that the super expensive chests are gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. What, like, old, like, uh, cartoon animation thingy did that, orig that little theme originate from? I could have sworn that it... Fine, I leave. Jerks. Need to kill them all. But yeah, once I actually start, like, uploading Assassin's Creed 2 to YouTube, I'll probably begin multi-streaming because I don't see any reason not to. It's a bit janky how to do it, especially for, like, console gaming. For PC gaming, it would be relatively simple. Because it would just be like, uh, really, it would just be like uh, using two instances of OBS to just stream the same, uh, like a uh, the same uh, scene. But for consoles. Uh, luckily, I did find a way to do that, so if I really wanted to, I can uh, multi-stream console gaming as well. It just requires, once again, two instances of... Pop -up. Although, I suppose that there is, like, a... An extension for OBS that I could download that exists purely so that you can multi-stream without having multiple instances, so I might look into that? Eh? Maybe, a, a, that's what I should do. I should do like a one-off stream. It was like testing multi-streaming with fun game. Just to see like how the... Well, how the first off... The... Extension works, because that would be like a... Just a nice little thing, so I don't have to deal with multiple instances. Down, 
Oh, I haven't seen that one yet, but I did see him break his legs. He, it must be an Easter egg for the Assassin's Creed 1 moment, where the guy jumped off with us in the Leap of Faith and broke his legs. How about you get down from there? What are you doing up here? I think the Herald is uh, slandering me again. What did I ever do to him? Murder his family. Well, I did kill a husband. Do I have to kill the whole guard or... Ah, oh, come on. I just want to take you all in, one by one. And they all went into the water. Silence, phone. That's actually slightly horrifying. The water, the body drifting underneath. <laughs> I, I thought all of them were going to float. No, some of them actually do sink to the bottom in horrifying detail. Oh, dear. Goodbye, friend. Are you going to fall in, or do I have to throw you in? Ah, he fell backwards. And I accrued a ton of notoriety from that. So let's go bribe a herald. All right, we're going to bribe the herald. Go pick up the money, because Claudia's going to be skipping up the top. Not my fault. Uh, I was just doing parkour. Not my fault that you guys put a chest in a stupid place, although it is a gold chest. But again, why would you put a good chest in a bad place? Uh, I did kill some guys behind you, but uh, can you say that I did a good job? Alright, since the uh, diddly D is full, we shall go there. And then... Ah, that's perfect. Then we can transport there to begin the thing perfecto italian words aka speaking english with an accent that's probably not at all historically accurate perfection so yeah just gonna maybe sometime try a multi-stream because why not Twitch is just ever so slightly deciding to implode itself. And I'm not one of the 1% anyway. Mainly because I don't get concurrent 21 viewers, which is apparently enough to put you into the 1% of streamers. On Twitch, at least. Which is utterly horrifying, if you think about it. You'd think that'd be like, oh, there's a good range of people who get just like a handful of viewers or even hundreds of viewers. No. People who get like over a hundred viewers probably are in the top 0.1%. Which is utterly horrifying. But it doesn't look like we have any codexes to turn in. Just here to grab the money that you'll... Stealing from me, Claudia. You know, I spend my time killing lots of thieves. Mainly traitor ones, but still, they count. They were, they were traitors to the thieves' guild. But surely that counts to some capacity. I wonder what the distribution of feathers in the game is. Obviously, it can't be like, ooh, 25 in Florence, 25... In uh, Forley, 25 in this place. And then 25 in Venice. Mainly because Venice is so fucking big. While Forley is kind of small. And, oh yeah, there was also Tuscany. I don't... You've de you two definitely don't have anything new. You definitely have nothing new. But I shall just stock up on medicines. 
my cocaine. And have full... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you should sell the smoke bombs, shouldn't you? Why do I even want... Uh, I already have all my smoke bombs. Does it even... Do I even bother? Well, I guess it doesn't hurt. I'm rich. I have nothing to worry about when it comes to money except... Let me... Can I see, like... No, I... I'm... I'm gonna quickly head back and see if I have all the portraits across everything at the... Because I want to know. Am I missing any art pieces that I can buy off the street? I don't think that I am, but you never know. I don't even know why that one diddly do is like, Oh, look at me. I'm a flashy little boy. I'm an icon on a map. Poke me. I don't, I don't trust you. Let's see. Collections. I have all the paintings in the game. Alright, so I have nothing to worry about there. I, again, one model. Model of what? I don't know. I just go and grab things. And we're getting there with the Missaglius armor. All shops. All renovations. So really, it's just equipment and diddly dee. And while we're here, I forgot, might as well put in the fifth seal that we have. Oh, is that what that is? I thought it might be the thing on top, but no, it is uh, slightly faded, so it's probably the thing saying, Hey, put the seal in, dumbass! That's what the icon means. I forget, who was it? Was it you? Nope. Then it has to be you. Place it a seal. Hilarious that we are placing seals to release something instead of sealing it away. So these are unseals. Ha ha ha. Also, that is a very glossy floor for what must be a very ancient and old. Like, it has to be well over a hundred years old. So why is the floor so glossy and clean? Well, Uncle Mario, what is your secrets? Also, if you're putting that much effort into keeping that floor for a place that nobody goes to, yet at the same time it does raise our monetary value, but only slightly. So what, does the upper 1% of thieves, mercenary, and whores get to go down into the storeroom of Altair's armor? And like, ooh, they finally put in a fifth seal. That's the only way I can imagine us getting money, monetary, uh, like, increases from putting the seals on. Like, I forget what it's uh, like, the, the thing that's... What are the, like, the terms for in-universe reasons and out-universe? It's like Watsonian and Doyleist. I forget which is which, though. Watsonia? I don't know. I do not know. I completely forget. All Venetian people look the same. Oh, I need to be on the roof. Understandable. We are going to fly a bird. We're going to drive away Hopper. And save the ant colony. When in reality, you'd want to absolutely murder the fuck out of ants. I don't even think they do anything for the environment. Except invade my yard. Time to fly. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. Well, the raise you up. Passover should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows. So there will be... be a, oh, yeah, because, yeah, they just wanted to be able to place the bonfires. <laughs> well... You do have your feet free. You, <laughs> you can knock them in. Taking an arrow in the head, maybe kick them in the head. Kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Time to fly. Pilot Leonardo's flying machine to the Palazzo Ducale. Once inside, assassinate Carlo Grimaldi. Now I'll just have to hang glide the best hang gliding of my life. 
<laughs> Shoot! The flying demon! I went the wrong way. Where are the fires? One of the fires. I thought I went the wrong way. Woo! But we're going like the wrong direction, aren't we? Are we coming in from an angle? Or maybe they just needed to. <laughs> I wonder how everybody heard about the flying demon across the rooftops. Before you go, go. I didn't knock anybody off the roofs, but I just want to live, Billy. How did they even get there? <laughs> You'd think they're like, there's a fire. And I did it. Just before dawn. And it actually knocks the guy off. Hilarious. What's the commotion? What was that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come. It's your move. Come on, Doge. Don't believe him. Get there before he's poisoned. Or they could blame me. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies. Darn it. Signore. I should have gotten here but faster. You listen to me when you have the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! There! There! <laughs> Too bad you didn't have anywhere to go. Too bad we didn't save the Doge. It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Mr. We kill because we think. <laughs> I do this yep. not for myself. Goodbye, little Ubi coward man. Sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me! That's his last words? He should have been screaming Carlo. Go now I have to kill all the guards. Oh, That's rather no. rude for them to attack at the same goddamn time. Uh, no you don't. You die alone. I'll just kill you all. If nobody knows, if all the guards are dead, then nobody will know that I was the assassin. Perfect. I wasn't even trying to attack you. And now I punch you. Ah, oh, if I was going to punch him in the face. Come on, let me grab you. Let me slit your throat. It'll be very slow. I'm sure it'll be painful. Also, I was expecting backup. I shall just walk away. Nobody will see a thing. I was just a tourist. No matter. I didn't kill anyone. Least of all the doge. Then if I just climb a building, I'll be way out of view. Don't judge me. I know what you do in your spare time. Venetian man. Oh. 
For some reason, I thought I wouldn't make that. And now we go up a memory. The impenetrable palazzo. Codex page acquired. Neat. Apparently, I cannot be arrested in memory. Get down, Mr. President. The world is crumbling away. Obviously. If it weren't for the fact that apparently the thief leader was a real person according to the in-universe memory logs, we should place him as the next doge. 1486. The poor empress of Forley is getting closer and closer to that horrible, horrible fate. I forget even what was the last... Like... Ooh. Oh yes, more area open up for me? For me? Yes, please, and then I get a codex page. Oh yeah, and we're also gonna get closer to getting, uh... Getting the gun. The gun. Which, considering that the game really hates you being able to s silently assassinate people, maybe it's a good thing that late game upgrade is a gun. Do you just not want to bother? Do you just want to murder some people nice and quickly? Here, have a gun. What is the armor that be? Ah, two upgrades. And weapons, no weapons. Small arms, no new small arms. You'll be well satisfied, I know it. We'll go ahead and bribe the Herald. Because why not? It's 500. I make tons of that. Well, I can make it back right now because this guy is alone. Goodbye, little man. You were alone in this world, both in life and in death. On guard duty, and not on guard duty. Nobody will miss you, least of all me, because you were guarding my... F well, we're in the... <laughs> we're in the Renaissance! Uh... I, uh he's just gonna give me like an 1,000. And 500, I don't care. I'll just keep an eye open for any... Bibbidi bah. You know, the longer you play this game, the faster and faster it seems that you get paid from the villa. Let's go ahead and get that, and then we'll look to a tailor. See if there are any pouch upgrades. Probably not, because... Since we're going to be getting the gun here soon, I assume. Since the masked masquerade section has opened up. Hello, bird. I was like you once. I flew through the air. I was a flying being of devilry and destruction. And there is another assassination dealie. Why wow, there's so many blacksmiths in this area. We'll do that. Hit that. Hit that. Ooh, and we can also be on the lookout for glyph places. Really? They're shooting carrier pigeons. Rude. Just gonna oh there is an upgrade it is for the the most worthless item in the universe but okay I don't care about the kind of a performance I want a map obviously you want to know about this useless thing I hate you you ruined my map you ruined my map they infected it with their presence 
Hilariously, you don't get infamy for that. They don't go, he's assaulting the jesters! <laughs> they don't care. Which is kind of funny. Au contraire, I am allowed everywhere. It is you who is not allowed up here if I get my hands on you. Better run, little boy, or else I'm going to murder the fuck out of you. If only to avenge my poor, poor throwing knives that are now useless. Seriously. Why don't they one-shot them anymore? I get, like, normal soldiers, like, even light soldiers on the ground or guards or whatever. I understand them to a degree because, like, it just it kind of makes sense. They get kind of more well-equipped as time goes on, better armor. So I can understand, like, but even then as they introduce, like, the normal, like, guards that are a bit more heavily armored than the really armored brutes than the seekers but you'd think that the normal really light like really light armored guys all right i try it well you'd think that like those guys yeah they shouldn't die to throwing knives in one go but the lightly armored guys that have like no real visible armor on them, the and the agile guys, they should go down in one throwing knife, especially the archers. At least the archers. You can be like, oh, we don't want people to cheese the fighting by utilizing throwing knives in combat to get rid of a bunch of squishy guys, even though they go out in one counterattack from the sword anyway. So bibbidi ba. And then there's just like cuz yeah, I I understand most enemies in the game not going down in one throwing knife, but even even my beloved uh, my beloved archers, even they survive. Cuz it just feels like that's the entire point of uh, the throwing knife is to be like, oh, there's a archer on the roof. He knows that I'm here. I must kill him so that he doesn't know that I'm here. Like, that's what it feels like the throwing knife was made for. I also just realized this is the, n the final assassin seal. I can get Altair's armor! Woohoo! I made no splash. That's the that's the real assassin training right there. You want to dive in the water and make like no sound? Become an assassin. But only if you're reaching out for a boat. It doesn't work in any other context. Don't ask me. I don't make the assassin rules. For old time's sake. It's just so sad. Like... Even if, like, archers had to be the only enemies that die in one hit to bibbidi bop throwing knives, I would be content if they were the only ones to die in one hit to throwing knives. Because it kind of makes sense. They're lightly armored. And they're just meant to be, like, super easy to get rid of because they're just freaking... They're just freaking archers. But the fact that they survive two, well, they die in two, they survive one, it takes two to kill them. It just, I don't know, diminishes the use of throwing knives. It just is sad. And now I want to make a detour to that boat, because there is a feather there. Hmm. How dare you know what my plans are? Okay. I shall release you. And then I shall pick you up back up again. And then I shall throw you again. 
Why are so many of the guards incapable of uh, swimming in the knees? You'd think that they would be able to swim because Vinny's. I just want that feather. I want that feather. That's all I want. We. Game, why would anyone ever want to do that? Why would anyone want to do that game? You're losing your mind, game. Nobody can even see that behind the wall tarp. The guards must be crazy. Maybe I killed all the intelligent ones. And that's all they have left. We need to nail this wanted poster to the wall. But there is a little tarp here. How are we supposed to do it? Lifts the tarp. Nails it down. There. Now we can get the move on. I'd believe it. I was afraid that I was going to leap to my death there for a moment. Synchronize. Synchronize. Focus. 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 All right, we're going to grab that codex page. We're going to go do that viewpoint. Then we will do the assassin tomb. Do whatever mission this is, which will probably just be a light little thing for... Uh, the boy to get the gun and uh, then we'll head back get Altair's armor which will slightly be a pain I don't care about you pickpocket go home Amici, why not shop with me? I've the best in all now all these guys are armored but the heavily armored is still gone Let's try and do it this way. Yeah, that was a big wind-up. I don't think that's possible, but that works. Again, I don't know the specifics for countering with the hidden blade, but it feels like you can't counter heavy wind-up attacks with it. That's what I feel. It might not be correct, but it's what I feel in my cankles. Huh. I was wondering, I was like, hmm, is the, uh, the thief just still right there? No, he's on the roof somewhere. I do like the aesthetic of the kind of renaissance masquerade. He's nice. And now I'm sad because the multiplayer to Brotherhood and, uh, yeah, like Brotherhood, Revelations, and 3 all went away. Granted, 3 was already kind of half cancelled because they replaced 3 with 3 remastered and Assassin's Creed 3 remastered didn't have multiplayer but it was also kind of dickish of them to be like oh we're going to bippity bug get rid of the original and not let you have access to the DLC anymore which I guess it's kind of a good thing in a way that I never bought the DLC for Assassin's Creed 3 because all DLC for Assassin's Creed games before Assassin's Creed 4 won't work anymore. Because since they are removing like Assassin's Creed 2, Revelations, Brotherhood, and 3 original version uh, from basically their support, the online authentication for the DLC won't be there either. Or the Uplay rewards. Like, Ubisoft, man, I enjoy your games, but god damn it, you are a shitty, shitty company. You heard of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? This is Shitty Shitty Ubisoft. It would be amusing if you could set yourself on fire by accident. Oh, what if it was, uh, you could, uh, set Templar, or not Templar, just, like, guards on fire by throwing them into fire-spitting jesters. Again, wouldn't happen in normal gameplay because, uh, they are civilians and they'd go, what the fuck is going on if you get into a fight with the guards? But 
in the offhand chance that it was possible, that would be an amazing thing to do. Again, borderline impossible. But I'd like it. Now we just need to find the entrance here. It's somewhere. And I don't think we ran across any glyph buildings. Let me take a look at my database. No, nope, but the, this is the final assassin tomb. Uh, here somewhere. Ah, there's the assassin tomb. Always on the inside corner. Again, nobody's found this. Altair. Altair armor. Yeah, Altair armor. For some reason, my brain mixed up Ezio and Altair for some reason. My memory is imploding in on itself. By the microsecond. For some reason, that reminds me that... Bup, bup, bup. I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 again because... We'll read this and I'll go into it. This visito... Visita Zion's secret. Solve the riddles of Visita Zion's catacombs to find the assassin seal hidden within. But yeah, I've been playing Assassin. Uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> no shit, me. But I've been playing the game. <laughs> Probably just a rat. Over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. What's a tarot this game? I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. Oh, good. <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I could have been killed. By that. But. Yeah. I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 again because all the good things I heard about edge runners. So I decide, eh, screw it. We'll give it another shot. And so far, yeah, like, even though I was lucky and didn't run into nearly even half of the issues that everybody else did upon launch, I've been having fun with it. God damn it. You can't put black bars... that we're meant to swing from. Leave me alone! Yeah, it's just like, I partially dislike these. Leave me alone! Dang it. Extra rude that they did it in quick succession in a way that was hard to. Game, game. The auto running during these like designated chase sections are kind of wonky. Leave me alone. We're under attack, guards. God damn it! I didn't make it in time. I don't like the free-running sections chase all that much because the chases are kind of shittily made sometimes. We're gonna have a black bar be the swingy swing and then just have it be an annoying thing. Again. Hard to... There we go. Oh, nope, big swings can't be done, they're just the timing's wonky. Where did even the agile guy go? Or did I instantly- I, I instantly killed him in the fall. Cool. At least- at the very least, the chases don't really dictate much, they just like, oh, you don't instantly get into fight. But still, it's a wound against my pride. And now we have to do a, a big old diddly dee. That is very advanced for turning pillars from just that. B. 
big ol' statue. Multiple big ol' statues. For the love of God, do I have to make this all in one go? I think I do. Nightmare world. Hey! Uh, yeah, I was wondering. Okay, I was like, please, game, let me free jump run. Oh, now you're including the thing that I've been wanting to do the entire game in as a parkour challenge, are you? Oh, yeah, game, <laughs> make up your mind. Is it going to instantly happen, or are you going to take away control and say, no, don't go. We're in the middle of something here. Again, it, it, the delay, it kills me. The delay... It, Why would you do that? Oh, it's you. Why you go left? I was not holding left, you... <laughs> the free running is trying to ruin my streak. Um... I don't know where to go. All the times the game is like, Oh, we're gonna take control of what you can see. And then, like, the one time that would have been nice, it just decides not to do it. But I did it anyway. Very rude game. The one time it would have been nice for you to take control of my camera and point me in the right direction is the one time you chose not to do it. Like, sure, it probably showed me it vaguely in the big ol' introduction dealie. Like, oh, this is the path we want you to go, Simba. It is kind of odd that the water is so murky. What is even the water doing down here? Water doesn't exist underground. And once more... Stolen Anubis statues. It's always Anubis statues. Did everybody raid the same pyramid? That's honestly what it feels like. Gonna go ahead, grab all the chests, cause why not? And finally, the final diddly D. I wonder who you are. I should probably actually like read the statues, like examine them to be like, hey, what are these statues of who? And here it is, the final seal. And off we go. Seal of Leonius. Leonias. However you say that. Seal of this dude. Venetian gladiator. Is that who he was? I don't think so. We. And now we will go talk to Leonardo, decode this other codex, and then probably head back to the villa to pick up the armor of Altair. Let's see, just make sure. And honestly, I just think that Venice is way too big to bother with the assassination side quests. The assassination contracts, they are kind of fun. They can sometimes be kind of stupid with the stipulations. But this place is way too fucking big for me to bother. Because just imagine getting one assassination contract 
and having to go all the way across to a different part of the Venice. Like, maybe that's why they, like, rolled out the sections slowly so that you could be like, oh, I'm going to do all the ones here because only they will proc. I don't know. I just, I do not know. Ezio, Dio mio, you're alive. I is it true? Sadly, no. I was there to was save him, to but save he was him, poisoned before I got there. The truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere <laughs> a free here. mask from a friend. Grazie, amico mio. More codex. I have something for you. Oh, more of the codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your a wrist, gun. but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco. Incredible. A hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Truly a man of science. Find out. Practice of Hidden Blades Pistol Modification. Talk about firecrackers. Good, it actually gave me fucking ammo this time. In fact, isn't there a... Like, a challenge thing that you could do by... Uh... Like, sinking your gunfire to... Like, uh, fireworks? Or at least is that just a thing that I heard in his face? His face is false. I do not understand how those mannequins can grip themselves like that. Or stand, and then go ragdoll. But who knows? I killed those dummies. It is incredible. You done me good, brother. Macerto. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new doge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Time to kill another doge, but the real this time. And you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... Uh, <laughs> mutual friends. friends. <laughs> I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district. To the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um, <clears throat> in a way, yes, sister. And that's you. You can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? What kind of mask? So are you telling me I'm missing one codex now? Marco Barbarigo and Dante. Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk. Whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. Very greedy man. Hmm. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this. Marco decides he Lots wants of murder. Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriage is till death do us part. And Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hides Yeesh. a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body and once in the head. But he doesn't Double die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well... He hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. Lots of what the fuck in there. And now I have a mask. Nobody will recognize this hood. Alrighty then. Next thing we're going to do is. Head on over, back to the villa, grab the money, put the seal in, grab the armor! Hmm. Keeps you incognito for the duration of Carnivale. I 
Again, I'm kind of tempted to do the assassination missions, but navigating Venice, huh? Especially since it's so big and I don't know where the game will want to send me for the assassination missions. But at the same time, I could do them to kind of get them out of the way. I hate that. that uh... The problem is that there's probably so many of them. There's probably so many of them in this place. Take me to the villa. I'll wear this mask everywhere. They'll never be able to know it's me. Who is that masked man? They'll never know. Although I do believe I'll have to buy the... Whatever this armor is, pauldrons, in the next memory to complete the set. Which then means I'm going to have to come back here anyway to re-equip my Altair armor. If it does go through... Or did I miss it? Well, while we're here, do you have any pouches for gun bullets? No, you do not. That would be a little extreme. I just want to make sure... Sword of Altair, I can just buy that? <laughs> Lol. But I can buy bullets. What is you doing with the Sword of Altair? Definitely looks like the Sword of Altair. From the memories. A bit slightly redesigned in a way, but definitely evokes what the uh, Sword of Altair looked like in Assassin's Creed 1. And at the same time, Altair could possibly have gotten even different, a different sword in the many years of his life since we last saw him. Because he definitely wasn't wearing black robes. But at the same time, he did become the, like, assassin master, in a way. Hmm. No, that doesn't seem to work. Is that at least? Ba ba ba. All of these seem to be. Okay, now that I'm re looking at this, yeah, that does look good. That does look good, and we are just missing two. Two more codexes. To see everything. Apparently. Let's go get the armor of Altair. But first things first, we'll probably read everybody. Examine. Atop this pedestal stands a statue of uh, Kulan Gal, the male Mongolian assassin. <laughs> ah, he shot Genghis Khan's horse. Neat. Atop this pedestal stands the statue of Darius, the male Persian assassin. He used his hidden blade to kill Xerxes. This is the first recorded use of the hidden blade. Darius, huh? Interesting. Atop this pedestal, statue of Wei uh, Yu, the male Chinese assassin. He used a spear to kill the first Chinese emperor. Interesting. Uh, Amunet, the female Egyptian assassin. She killed Cleopatra with a snake. She killed Cleopatra, did she? Atop the statue, sta uh, well, pedestal stands the statue of Iltani, the Babylonian assassin. She poisoned Alexander the Great. And you, I want to read. I want to read the man. Fine, we'll place the seal, then we'll read the man. I want to read. Yes, yes, checkpoint reach, but I want to read. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me I just want to read the statue. <laughs> and now we have the best armor, but I still want to read the goddamn statue. I will not be stolen from. And the value just keeps rising. And now we have the best armor in the game, I do believe. Because, I mean, you have to go through a bunch of things to be able to get it. 
I can only assume. And now, examine. Leonius, the male Roman assassin. He stabbed Caligula with a dagger. Can uh, we examine this one? Nope. But now we have his sword. We have his entire outfit, which looks pretty sweet. Kind of looks a bit silly in a way. But it could just be the mask. But now we just need two more codexes. Well, first let's take a look at the thing. I'm wearing new clothes. You here to look at the book? Collections. All seals. Hmm, still not all weapons, though. Understandable. Now, we'll, now I shall go deliver, like, the one feather that I have to Mother. And then I will head back to Venice. Still debating if I should do the site assassination missions. Because they don't really do anything. They, they're just for extra money. They're not even, like, extra life, like... They would have been in Assassin's Creed 1. Going about saving people was... That's something that's kind of disappointing. Is that in the previous game, you could save, like, uh, scholars and people and women. And then, like, their brothers would become vigilantes who grab on to guards chasing you or people running away from you. You could get, like, blending in scholarly people to get to new places... It's just like the assassination missions, just like they don't, uh, don't really just have much feel to them. They just, oh yeah, you can do this. Earn a large reward. Ah, yes. One thousand dollar dues and some change. They're not really that big, 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 big of a thing. Not all that big. Also, that's not even the mask that I'm wearing. Like, maybe if you added a mouthpiece? But this one doesn't have a mouthpiece, and can you even add a mouthpiece to this kind of mask in this era? I don't know. I don't know. But. Now we have a gun. I'm going to probably not use it much, because... I, like, I intend, I, just, like, whenever I even play games like Skyrim or Cyberpunk, I'm like, I want to be sneaky. Gun is loud, and it doesn't come with a silencer. So I don't know. But we do know our new targets for the day. Marco and Dante. But Dante seemed like he was functional. If, so, like, I don't know, yeah, like, he seemed functional, so I don't know. Hmm, I'm gonna wait for that to go. No, this is just faster. I want map. Because I just want to take a double check down here. We'll head there just to make sure it's nothing. And, uh... Because I want to look for... Like, any... Diddly dee other... Maybe I missed it, but I doubt it. Let's see. Is there? Nope, there is no glyph, so I do not care. I think those guards spawned in, but I could just be blind. I am a fancy man, here to meet Fog on the floor. <laughs> Hello, Antonio. I'm wearing a mask. Antonio, we Who are you? <laughs> Is the mask really that good, my dude? Ezio Auditore! Theodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have I have a man to kill, Meet though. The ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He slices Shia and souls 
So, Mr. Ezio, let's see just how talented you That's are. That's sudden and him. random. Why? Well, it could just be that he's a terrible killer. He's a terrible not assassin, because in this world, uh, assassin. Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another. I would one. like to lock onto him, but there are guards here. Don't I can't because there are fucking guards here. There we go. Gun. Almost forgot that I got the gun. Luckily, nobody cares, because he was a murderer. I shot a man with a gun. Mama just killed a man. You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio. Murder. You know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except... How convenient! For tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind... So I'll steal one. mask is numbered. Oh, you, win a mask? I, I was gonna idea. steal because I'm a Let's filthy see if we thief. Can't win you a mask. None the wiser. Nice pun. Speak with Teodora about Marco Babarigo. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? It's I all a matter of perspective, I guess. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are... Ah, that choices aged like to wine in America. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church. But grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads. Not in the depth of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Dick jokes. So where can I earn a golden mask? Who do I need to murder? Signore, come on, come I thought they were on their knees for a moment. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? this ah, year, so that's the mask I'm going to wear. The golden mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such And yet an there's such a small reward. company of people. Come, compete. Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. So we have four games to do. Signori, signori! This may be the easiest challenge yet, or the hardest. A game of really? charisma and charm. What's Step the charisma and charm Step part? Back. Welcome, gentlemen. Whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your silence, ladies. I'm hearing the rules. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the gold. The golden prize. mask of the Elden Ring. Ribbon roundup. Obtain more ribbons than the compa <laughs> for, uh, than the competition from the ladies of the carnival. Oh. Sergio, 
Hello. I'm stealing them, am I? It acts like I'm not stealing them, but I am obviously stealing them. It even says, stole a bundle of ribbons. <laughs> it's kind of night time. I'm suave, Ezio says, as he is stealing the ribbons from ladies. I guess the game is kind of like, you're technically stealing them. I'm so charismatic, they call it stealing afterwards. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. I stole all the ribbons from everyone. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies. And are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. A ticket to a one-time thingy. Plus the two, temp two of the Templars that I am, uh, like, uh, targeting are constantly here and they <laughs> I honestly think that in the crowd they're like that's totally the guy who's out to kill us right <laughs> but at the same time poor poor Dante he probably couldn't even form that sentence the sound made me stop and go <gasps> who's next? can you beat Never your neighbors Drive. literally welcome benvenuti are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed so, uh, and endurance? A run. Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is to the golden mask. To the golden mask. Hey, no photo bombing! No photo bombing! My time for winning the golden mask. <laughs> Other bastard. Breaking into my time. I would have been angry if the loot man got in my way, but best music in the game's playing, so I'm not angry anymore. Uh, Jesper Kide, kid, however you say your name. Your music is lovely as ever. Ultra lovely. This is a carnival route? Or did I go the wrong way? Where is it? Oh, on the inside. I am a dumb. But not that dumb. I love the music in these games, at least when you're allowed to listen to them. If if the Ezio like if this was like movie one of a trilogy, this would be the perfect like theme music. I gonna make it? I might have screwed myself. I have three more to go. Two more to go. I did it. Course record is mine. They are obviously suspicious. 
Would they just assume anybody working? At the same time, if you think about it, going through like, uh, well, maybe not the ribbon one. The ribbon one is kind of a, I suppose, a general kind of carnival game that you could like, not that surprise, all things considered, that that's kind of a carnival game. But that one, considering you went to the rooftops and everything, that definitely feels like a we're looking for an assassin kind of trial. Time to play America's favorite video game. Are you an assassin? Step right up. Welcome, welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag. Three capture times, the flag. And the golden Hopefully, it's not too far. It'll never end. CT <laughs> CTF. I find that funny. That's just what it's called. Oh, that's the flag. Where is the flag? Did I not retrieve it? Um, is that is this just my opposition? Okay, it was just my opposition. I thought he had the flag. That's why it felt like it just felt like it, the game was misleading me there for a moment. It's like surprise, enemy was there. Also, kind of funny. Get ready for the next round of capture that dinghy. Plus, I think that guy can just run into me to steal it, which is a bit cheap. I don't think he has to tackle me to score. Although, I guess I could hire thieves to knock him about if I wanted to. At least I wasn't disqualified for roughing up the competition before I even got it. You're fast, man. I probably should have done a tactic to knock him down. Oh, God, he's fast. I don't think this is fair game. I think he ran off into the ocean. Game did me in again. Now? Why do I not have it? That was a laggy. What do you mean he has it? Game. This better not disappear off me again. I would be very very upset if it had taken it off me that second time because that guy went way too fast literally the only way to do it is to kind of get in front of him so that he'll kind of shuffle and be like Hah! we have a winner you've protected your flag and captured the enemies 
You've proven yourself a warrior without fear, and each and every to the golden mass. They're so angry. But did they want to win the golden mask? Again, this all feels like it's a trap. Oh, time for actual battle. Join the fight. Benvenute lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule. No. No, you see, sir. I stabbed him with my finger like Michael Myers and he died. Will it be you? Or two? Who will win the golden mask? Cheaters never prosper. Game lock onto the right dude. I will bash your face in. Yes, take this, brute. Nice combo. Or combo breaker, really. Combo finisher. <laughs> Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campion. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken. Wish that I could poison him in this. Dang it. I wanted to poison him, not kill him. That would be the perfect time. He just had a, a freak out. Well, just time to go fast again. And now... I just wanted to beat him up with poison. Now one more strike and you're dead. Because this would be the perfect time to poison him, wouldn't it? This would be the perfect time to poison him. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. Just keep kind of tapping him in the face. Come on, Dante. Land a hit on me. My one punch did that to his face. To challenge our man in the ring, do we have a winner? Ah, uh, we have combatants. And they get to have knives. So that's how it's going to be, eh? I'll even do it without killing him. Remember your training, man. Yeah, I'm not even gonna kill him. It says targets killed, but why kill him when I don't even have to? I beat them without even killing them, even though the game called it kills. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won, Lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Toro. Congratulations. But he's the bodyguard, so why does he get to win? So it looks like I have to kill him and take that golden mask anyway. I do find it funny that I managed to actually beat them when they had knives. I'm just like, yeah, screw it. I'll just punch you to death anyway. 
I was cheated of my golden mask. It wasn't even cheating. I literally won all the challenges. You should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco How will they even know if he died? We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him uh, while you acquire the mask. <laughs> so are your girls, like, on the way to the party as in... In the general vicinity? Or... On the way to the party as in they have... Like, invitations. I went the wrong way. So I think this way is also just a... Yeah, screw it. I'll just swim across. So if I steal it, it's probably walk up to him with a band of courtesans. Distract his guards. Again, I don't understand why I can't kill him. Just because he's on the way to the party doesn't mean that he's going to actually, like, be there, be there. Has to be on this area, unless he's, like... That was surprisingly easy. Noble prices for noble wares. Armor fit for an emperor. And here I thought I was gonna have to kill him anyway. I mean, he is on the target list. And now I wear. Hey, I think I just realized, maybe-ish. Because in one of the latest uh, advertisements for, like, uh, Bibbidi Bob, Assassin's Creed Mirage, a character actually, like, drops a golden mask, like, kind of like that. Buonasera, signore. Just with a beard instead of. How do you get him without a golden mask? Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. <laughs> ah, that's the reason. They stole my mask. Find him. Come to me. <laughs> Are they trying to tempt me? I'm leaving. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. Loot man, go home. Game. Uh, where is he from? Fuck on to courtesan. Loot man. Oh, 
Loot man, you are trying to kill me. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Time to kill him mid-speech, I guess. Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. A At usurping war the war city from another man. Prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival. They're done. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. we will be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. Your pistol, the one you stopped the murder with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk How out. How do we even do that? I like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. All know we have come through trouble time, but we have come through. I don't think it's physically possible to actually do that. To possibly actually time it with explosions. It's too soon. I'm I've never ready. seen it done, at least. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. How very rude. He attacked me without letting me go. I'm with you. Honestly, my brother embarrasses himself for you. You have no right to speak about that boy. He's the Doge. He is what do you mean? in name only. And it's Venetian money he spends. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen. What the hell? Your father may have thought he'd never amount to much, may have foisted his political ambitions on you, but it doesn't matter, does it? Given where things stand. I never wanted to be Game. Doge. Then it seems you have succeeded. Game, Why? fuck off. Power is more than wealth. Does my brother truly believe he was chosen for any reason other than his riches? Game, he fuck off. For his wisdom and leadership. And this is what he does with such wisdom. After a light show, he hides away in the palazzo while the city comes apart at the seams. Then he thinks some expensive explosions will make people forget all their problems. The people love the spectacle. It's human nature. You'll see. I don't even know who is talking. Oh, you don't. Like, literally, who is talking? Game. Grab, grab. Don't. Damas. Get away from Yeah, I just don't think it's physically possible to actually time the gun with the explosions. Because there's no way to really see where the explosions are. There's no time, really way, a real way to time them. Also, they're far enough away that no sane person's gonna be like, Ah, oh, yes. Really loud sound immediately among us. Totally the same thing as the explosions that are really far away. They're exactly the same. Fuck off, game. Why do they get to, like, instantly start attacking me? Come up and fight me. Fight me. <laughs> Enemy guard talking. Ah. It's just... It was very... It was, I don't know. Game, I wanted to go down very fast, but not that fast. I keep forgetting that I am now a wanted man. They're basically like, arrest any man with a golden mask. Come along, courtesans. We have a Dante to find, I assume. I mean, I could just continue on the over rooftop. But it'll probably be on the ground. And done. It kind of is that way. Stupid loot man. 
getting in my way. Here, Dante, Dante. Be gone, loot man. Thank you very much, Cash Cash. I try to make the streams at least enjoyable. But off we go. According to the backstory, this Dante guy is supposed to be like relatively brain damaged. At least in the purpose of like he's a, a simple person and is kept as basically a, a slave with hands. But he seems to act with enough intent that I don't really buy it. Here I thought I was going to kill Dante. But now we just return home. Works enough. You used a gun! A true hero. Imagine being like mayor of a city and people just like, he's dead! Yay! What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong. I mean, now we see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. It's easy to kill a guy. It's hard to save people when the guy you need to kill is poisoning them. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. <laughs> Playboy Ezio. He was like, I just killed a guy. Time to indulge. <laughs> then again, at the same time, if the Dante guy is like such a simpleton without Marco there to kind of... Well, no, the, the other... Uh, the guy, the little Red Riding Hood man who sent Dante after me f at the fist fight and then bribed the games guy to be like, hey, will you let these four nice gentlemen with knives in to stab this contender? With people watching? Like, the only... Surely that would have just sullied everybody's enjoyment of the games if they watched a guy get stabbed to death. But because I'm the hero, and I disarmed them and punched them out, it became nice fun. And then in the same year, after the carnival... Will I be able to find codex pages to complete the wall? I don't even think I know what do completing the wall does. Either because memory bad or I've never done it. Yes. Ah, is it going to in instant cutscene time? Not really. We just get approached by a, Ezio, a Ezio. little beggar man. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the like, message. you don't even have... Uh, are we just going to tell up? No. We're not even going to teleport there. He just... Guy ran up to me. He wants to talk to you. I think I could have figured that out <laughs> myself. Just by looking at the map. And there's another uh, Templar lair. One of those things that I know that I never did. Kind of hilarious that... I guess it's, uh, it's understandable the Thieves Guild is back there. You want to rob some Templars? I've marked the arsenal on your map. It's some kind of Templar base, so there's going to be all kinds of loot yeah, I've just there. never done that before. And then I will definitely want to go back to the villa, if only because I probably can buy... Let me guess, I can buy the last armor piece now. I can buy the last armor piece now. But then that would replace my Altair air armor. So if I want to complete the set and keep my armor, I have to go back to the villa so I can then get the money and then re-equip the armor because you don't have an inventory system in this game. Your inventory is at the villa. At least I don't think you can. I highly doubt it. Inventory. Can I change my stuff? I cannot. It just gives you information. It is an interesting system. Like, hey, what if we had armor? and different weapons in our Assassin's Creed. Is interesting, but... when you get down to it, it just feels like a, a little bit of a... just an extra little sprinkle on top rather than its own cake. I'm not vaulting. 
but you're gonna fall to your death. That's what they're gonna rule it here in Venice, 1486. Yes, I, my brain works. Going through all the troubles, like, ah, oh, yes, this is totally the place that I must be. And there's a feather. Want that feather? Game Y. Game's like, nah, you don't want to climb that structure that you're running at. You want to leap off in the camera to glitch. Well, that's another thing. Maybe we'll run into the final glyphs that I can do. For a moment, I was going to say, why the hell do those look like, uh, uh, why are there targets on this building? They're windows. San Zakaria. Interesting. So yeah, once I do all of these, hopefully I'll run across the... You know, I just realized, I was like, oh boy, glyphs, and then I'm like, but now they're gonna be the puzzles that are like, hey, let's make really obtuse puzzles so that we can say they're difficult, because these are the last puzzles. Like, I'm not a hater of the puzzles, but... I am not that big a fan of some of the decoder ring ones. But, also, dear God, this must be... Venice has so much to it. There's a reason why I fear doing the assassination challenges. For a moment, I was like, is this a zoo? No, it's a boatyard, apparently. Are we gonna kill a Templar at the zoo? Release the tiger! Isn't there a decency law that stops people from climbing? Silly little man. Hmm, I don't think I can make that jump. I can! Huzzah! For some, some things blend in. Then at the same time, sometimes the game doesn't uh, let me grab along and go along the things I'm supposed to, so I don't know. The game is rather rude sometimes. Nice splits there, Ezio. School night, but I still stay up till 5 a.m. There's definite mood. But at the same time, don't force yourself to stay up. Brain is already bad enough without sleep. Brain with sleep is marginally better. I just need to find the... Uh... Is that? Ah, I know. Why can't I just use the... I get it. It's synchronized. But I, at the same time, I'd like to be able to do the eagle vision so I can be like, Is that a thing that is going to be safe? Let's try! I'm dead! Or maybe I am. Dang it. Because the game's like, no, you don't get to fly and check where things are. Maybe expecting me to jump into the water. I don't know. It's hard to be able to tell where things are safe when the game won't even let me see what is safe. I'm, how dare you? I just spawned in. I bring out die. Your miserable existence is off. Hello. Tree is blocking you because it is your friend. Come on. Fight me. Dang it. I will counter you eventually. And did you just spawn in again to drop your stuff? Is that just set here? When the player is here, spawn a guy carrying a thing. So the guard can come in. Yes, yes, Borgia Messenger, you exist. You do not have nearly enough money for me to care. But now let's... Assassin's Creed gives me Far Cry vibes. Well, it is made by Ubisoft, and it does kind of follow the similar... Like, oh, you go into this big tower for information kind of thing. That's where the Ubisoft sandbox term comes from. It is a thing. But at the same time, I think, really for me, I I was holding up and Ezio was going down. Sure, game. Sure, sure, game. Ooh, there's a glyph here, is there? Also, this looks suspiciously like other churches in this area. But, yeah. For me, Far Cry feels a bit different urge, if only because... Like, I don't know. 
I do recognize their kind of open world similarities, but their gameplay is very, very different. What even is this supposed to be? A wonky Mickey Mouse hat with a spike on top. The end. Almost the end. It, it happened before. The pieces were once part of a whole. Poor 16. Subject 16. <sighs> well, what is the next uh, to last? Ah, we're back to basics. Once worshipped, now ignored. From a distance, it watches and waits. I... Hmm. Once worshipped, so I'm going to assume, like... Uh... No. Why is it going? <laughs> For some reason, if you choose a last thing, you have to click the button again to make the thing go away. Once worshipped, now ignored. During worship. The like, guy do not know. Just ask a counter stone, so I don't think that technically counts. I don't know. Again, it has to do with religion, probably. Let's see. Wish that I could actually look at the specific ones without going over, but oh well. Book of the Dead, maybe because it's not specific. Hmm. Because again, once worshipped, now ignored. Maybe it's ones that don't, like, aren't named? So, like, textile. Ones that are, like, so ancient, they're not even named? No. Or maybe I was on the right path and it was... Maybe this? The Eastern Gate? I don't know. I am not that much of a history buff. So I cannot truly tell. Hmm. Again, once worshipped, now ignored. F maybe it's from a distance it watches, so I'm looking for a specific thing in each one. From a distance it watches, but what could that be? From a distance it watches. From a once worshipped. Let's look. Mars, Venus, Amor, Nazca, Textile, Aztec Calendar Stone, Maker Disc, or Marker Disc. Old, not as old, but. Hmm, you think it would be. It feels like maybe I don't know. These puzzles always stump me. It was like, hmm, how do they how do they go? Because hmm, once worshipped from a distance, it watches. Hmm. This would definitely help if I knew more about, like, mytho-history. To be like, what do all of these stand for? Because, like, these two just feel like they're correct. This one also, like, there's something about it. Doesn't, I don't get the feeling there. Hmm. Feeling. Let's 
try you? The answer is no. Once again, wish could just come down here. I don't know you. Yay! Randomness wins! I don't really know what it meant, though. The sun? Somebody wrote on the sun, how dastardly. And yet the day of purification, there will be a cobweb spun back and forth in the sky. It's just lots of words, but I'm trying to... Is that it? Earth through the sun? Earth through the sun? Remember to stay hydrated while you're doing weird puzzles that you don't fully understand, but hey, there's 69, so it wins. And now we just have one more out there somewhere. I don't know. I don't get it. But remember to stay hydrated. At least this one was so easy. Ah, yes. A really low to the gro uh, ground one that isn't that bad. One that's so high up that you can't even really see where the hay bale is and you you're not allowed to actually look. Those are my favorites! I yeah, will gather up the last of these just because I like knowing where things are. We'll go to the villa, complete the armor set, see if there are any other armor, like armorer, blacksmith things that we can pick up. I just realized I haven't poisoned anybody in a great long time. Probably because I'm not taking on the assassination missions, because the assassination missions. They hurt me. Is that a codex I see in there? I think it is a codex in there. I'm gonna let those guys just go on their merry way. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna grab me a codex. Haha. <laughs> Bastard. We had trouble not far from us. Weaknesses were hard to find. I didn't even do anything. Sure, I stole from a guy, but that's not illegal. This is Venice. Remember what I taught you, Ragazzi. Come on, no deflections. Or counterings, how dare. And now I just kill you. Cheese strategies. Quit deflecting and start hitting me with your full face. Now I have to deal with all your friends too. What fun. At least my counters do tons of damage. I'm, I'm not a madman. I am a goodman. So this is a big guy. Dang it. Come on. Again, I don't know why, but it honestly feels like I can only counter brutes with... Will one of you attack me? Quit shuffle shuffle. Yeah, like, I have a harder time countering brutes with the sword than I do with the hidden blade, which might shock you. But I have an easier time getting rid of them in one hit rather than hoping that I can deflect their attacks ever so slightly. I forget, how many codexes did I have back there? Just uh, missing two out of three? I don't know. We'll, co we'll clear out the whole place. <laughs> Turn to TV. Indeed. But we shall... Hopefully get all the codexes and see what that's about because again, it's been forever since I fully played through Assassin's Creed 2 So I don't even remember if I've done it and god damn it is this similar thing again I'm just going to climb down it and not even bother Trying To leap back because I what is even the point of like ooh, this is not even a normal one. Oh, yeah, I forgot can't even do that This uh, leap does not go Vertically. Well, it only goes vertically. It does not go uh, up a... What is it? A ramp? That's not it. An incline. That is what it is. And now I'm just not even going to bother. This is the second time this has happened. That's the second time that I'm just like, I don't trust you, game. I'm just going to back away. And then Ezio decides to go free fall. Sure thing, game. Uh, two more, unless 
even more decide to make themselves known. Then we'll go back to Villa. Well, first we'll have to decode the thing thing. The codex. With Leonardo. So that then we can put it on the wall. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna swim. Screw the rooftops. I'm going for a swim. <laughs> a merchant has been found guilty, so we're gonna kill him. I don't know what he's guilty of. I couldn't hear that part. But he was guilty of something. Enough that they want to execute him publicly. Sucks to be that guy. If only he was a cool assassin who didn't have to worry about things. Who needs to worry about <laughs> being executed when you're an assassin? Then again, my father, Ez Ezio's father, was an assassin. He was hand on brute and steel, their weapon. Oh, that's also true. I forgot. <laughs> I just, uh, <laughs> for some reason, just completely forget that that's an option. Like, early on in the in the game, I'm like, ah, oh, yes, I can disarm. And I made fun of, like, the training NPC because, like, aha, I could disarm you anytime I choose, but the game won't let me. But then after that, just completely forgot, and then I relearned it during the Carnivale when they sent the four knife guys at me. And I'm like, I'm not even going to kill them with their own weapons. I'm just going to beat them with my hands. But I, oh, I never think to actually use it in combat. That was a good point. I am a dum-dum. Ezio has to have some legs to be able to fly that far from a standing leap from a building. Go, go, gadget, Ezio legs. I don't care about your part. Part. I know there was a word I was going for, but now my brain can't complete it. There's the last glyph here! <laughs> what a magical day! Where's the glyph? Where's the glyph? I want the glyph. I do hear something. Is it just right here? <laughs> it's just right here. And it's an arrow. Go right. The origin of the species. A few still it is around that signs and paintings, faces, the hearts. But, but we don't see it. See, we are... We are blind to our own creation. We are blind to our own creation, he says. I was too busy doing a puzzle, so I didn't hear him. Oh, wait. There we go. Need to match it up. There we go. Match up with sheep. Hmm. Let's see, then I can come out. This is probably the best way to do it. To then. Or maybe not. Wait! Uh, hmm. Because then I do this. Do it. One. I am stuck in eternal hell. Eventually, it will relent. I know there's probably a better way of doing it. Because let's see. How many turns does it take for you to get there? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight turns that way. Now we need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I come all the way out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I, I think my method got messed up in my brain. My brain is just trying to outmaneuver this. But I don't think I can. One way to do it would be because down here it is linked to the outer. But then you are also linked. But then it also changes it. It's trying to understand it. I don't even know why it's like, oh, this is the name of the thing. That's not going to help me, game. Knowing the name isn't going to make me solve this better. I'll keep fixing it until it relents, I guess. Although that's probably not the smart way to do it. It's all I have, because trying to outmaneuver it just hurts my brain. Maybe if I tried to solve it like this. Work in reverse. I think I just messed up my entire floor. My entire floor is utterly ruined. It's like, eh, it just hurts my brain. Trying to outmaneuver the thing hurts. Hmm. Because now that these are, wait, idea. Let's see. To, I think I found a way. To get this over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, my plan was one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe. Two. Dang it. I'm trying to outsmart it, but I'm just thinking outsmarting myself more than anything. I'm making all the wrong answers. Understand. I'm so close, but everything is pain. Maybe if I... Nope, we're already there. Then maybe if we write you with it... 
and then write you with it. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just trying random things now. Uh, like, I get it. There's some magical formula. But I just can't wrap my head around it right now. Alright. Get you there. Is. Alright. From. Like. Da -da -da. One more. Dang it. Nope. I loathe you. Wrong one. Nope. Alright. Let's go one more out. I hate. <laughs> I'm just. Again, I keep trying to outsmart myself on, like, aha, if I do this, then I can do that, but. It just never freaking works. Hmm. One. Two. Again, I'm attempting to outsmart myself. I had a good system going there, and then my brain just completely gave up the ghost. He's just like, I don't like these puzzles. They hurt my brain. They just hurt my brain. There we go. Don't know how I did it. Brain was just like... Da, 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 da. Hurts. Brain hurts. Wouldn't you know it? I think that was drawn by Leonardo da Vinci. That's extra hilarious. Missing Link Archive. I don't know how long I sat there just brain going... I think maybe this. And then it just worked. I don't know. Access denied. <laughs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Well, it set me free I don't even know what any of these numbers mean. Yeah, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. The guillotine cut my throat. The bullet hit my chest. The water fill my lungs. The blood spills out thick and red. Can I use... Can I use, uh, eagle vision, please? That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. And all of these are diddly dee, but I don't know what any of these numbers mean. And I don't see anything that would, like, really help flashing in the background. Again, there, is, there are these numbers. But I'm not a number person. If we activate it enough, we'll get a hint from Sean. We need that desperately. Because, again, it would be nice if we could do eagle vision and, like, ooh, you finally get it. But, I like, none of these are anything to me. 
Wait. Oh, that's just that sound. What? <gasps> what? What? Uh, I can see the uh, stars. Did I accidentally get it My right? Is gone. Did, 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 did. Lucy, I can't wait I... longer. I'm ready to go. So, Lucy saw you... She sees me. Subject 16 Please. killing himself, and... He saw himself doing it in the future, it seemed. Yay, I got the truth! And welcome to Futuristic! Adam and Eve. Are these the first assassins? Running through the Mass Effect-esque future world. That is the past. Making pieces of Eden. Future city that looks Adam, super... Well, I guess it would make sense, the, the apple. Wow. Was that what I think it was? We'll send the video out for analysis. As soon as Desmond's done in the machine. You okay? <sighs> He'd be able to explain the whole thing to us. If only but we he went insane. But hey, I finished the, the truth. Uh, again, I have no idea how I did that last passcode. Like, I was honestly hoping to hear from Sean about, like, what the hell do you think all these numbers mean? And then I just got it right? Was it just a random thing? Just, like, put in any number of the things? Because that could be it. That could have been it, that there was no actual answer. I just had to put any symbols in, and they were accepted? Maybe? Who oh, friggin' knows? I'm just confused as all frickin' hell. And then I will, after this, if there are no, like, final codex pieces to be found for me myself, I'll just have to go and uh, take whatever I have to bibbidi-bah. You are not allowed up here! Become a toad in your next life. Hey, Mario! You're not supposed to be up here! What are you doing here? Hug tech! Hmm, it looks like the best way to enter might actually be the front, ever so slightly. Seems to have the most hand grip places. Or I could just come through the right fucking front door. It isn't a nobody's allowed area after all. I just kind of assumed it was because of how I've been treated by this game up until now. We'll get the final viewpoint. Decode the one, I think, codex we got. And then take it. To the diddly d God damn it, game. Why would I ever want that? You are an asshole game. No, he wouldn't want to go along the actual path. He's slightly tilted down. You are a clown game. You were made by clowns. I will find them and stuff all their bodies into a tiny, tiny car. And then I will laugh. Amused. Now to the final viewpoint of this district of Venice. Open sesame way of knowledge. And no codexes in this area that we haven't already got. 
All right, we'll go to the Templar lair, do the Templar lair, decode the codex, go back to the villa, get the final piece of the diddly D armor that we can buy, and then we'll replace the Altair armor that we're wearing so we then have to go back in to the villa to put on the Altair armor. It's a whole process. All right, nobody cares about you, Borgia man. Oh, it's a pickpocket. Nobody cares about you, pickpocket. Oh, you want to come at me? You're coming straight at me. Stay back. Come on, I want to throw you into the water. I want to throw you in the water. Come on. You need a drink. Because you're dumb. I've specifically stopped targeting him, game. Stop. No, look at the dirty old man. Let's go in and steal from the Templars. Since it's right here. Right in our face. Enemy analysis. Seekers. I've only, like, run into them seeking me once because I usually kill them. <laughs> Shipwrecked. Infiltrate the arsenal. Dry docks and find the Templar treasure hidden inside. Even though all these are our mini dungeons that exist to be done, I don't really need the money. I have all the money I could ever want. All these guards are gonna die. Because there's no use stealthing about unless they're dead. The best stealth is when everyone who could see you is gone. And I, like, completely missed the... Hidden secret diddly D of like, ooh, you can go around here. It's like, show game. I'll, I, I'll probably figure it out on my own, I'm sure. The doves will lead the way. Oh, I'll just kill them both, eh? Double assassination. And now I don't have to worry about them going like, I see you up there. Because unlike people who play TF2, I look up. Which is honestly just aggravating. Jump sideways, the game says. Which I understand why it would want to, like, tell me about it. Because the game is very mean about actually letting you do that. Because it usually takes away control of the camera. Because the game's kind of a jerk. Game is ever so slightly a jerk. Ah, oh, I thought I could make it. I wanted to do a daring leap. But then the game said no. No daring leap for you. But there, well, I thought that, for some reason I thought those pile of wood was gonna, I was gonna look up and it would turn into like a statue. But no, it's just wood. Don't know what my brain was expecting. It was just like, ah, oh, surely there's something majestic over there. No. Just wood. Why would there even be a statue? It's a, it's a shipbuilding complex. They don't have statues in Venice. Are you dumb? They just have boats. But fine, we'll do it the legitimate way. Not the fun way. Of just jumping randomly at places saying, I can totally make it, Dad. No, no, I cannot. And now, I assume this way. Because the game's kind of uh, pointing me this way. Alright. I do kind of like the physics on the hanging objects. I almost died. Hello, Archer Man. Why do you have bows and arrows with the windows closed? Very fast, because you you don't mind me hugging you. And that is why you are now dead. I feel like I can go that way. I hear people whispering. I feel like they're talking about me. The guy who's stealing from them. I assure you, I come from a long line of 
I'm not a sheep. <laughs> Lol. So kill me then. At least I will have my honor, unlike the son of a pig farmer standing in front of me. <laughs> Poor guy. He's just a shipbuilder. Don't kill the poor man. And knowing Venice, he can't swim. You should have kept an eye on his men. Trying to break into the treasury is a serious offense. We needed him to build the ships. Now I'll have to go find another shipbuilder. Next time, inform the watch when you question an intruder instead of dealing with it yourself. Ass, you know. I'd like to take control now, game. Kill the Flame Templar, but I'm bad at that. Because the game is like, ooh, the they get to do cool stuff. I'm never good at chasing the Flame Templars. Because they usually get to break the thing, and then the auto run usually goes in weird ways. I mean, I could try throwing knives at him, but that usually doesn't work. When are you gonna throw a big, uh, a wall at me? Really, I don't mind killing all your friends, because you're just gonna run. How could he make that jump and not me? I feel like you're going in a very roundabout way. He's not going to get me. Where'd you even go, game? Quit taking away control of the camera, please. Why even there? I'm a basic Makes no s- oh, I can't- The game knows. Oh, hey, you want to do something cool to catch up to that guy? No, you don't get to. Come on, it's throwing knives. They can't even kill anyone even if they try. They're throwing knives and they suck. Well, we killed him somehow. Maybe it's because he had to go the same path we do. And also, we stopped a bunch because, like, oh, he's not immediately behind me. Guess that means that he's not there anymore. We're actually a surprising distance away. I probably would have caught up to him either way. Because it's just down, 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 and down. And now I get the Templar treasure. Even though I don't really need money. Also, if this is their treasury, they really needed somebody to build them a bridge, not a... Well, <laughs> no, we need a giant boat to get back to our treasury. Doesn't look like this one has an Anubis statue. They finally robbed somebody else! Because everybody else had freaking Anubis statues. Like they were going out of style. Excuse me? <laughs> Bleh. At least I didn't sneeze while I was chasing the guard. That would have been very annoying. Why do you have two secret entrances to your secret treasure room? And I believe that was the third Templar lair that we have done. I, yep, I do not remember those at all from when I first played Assassin's Creed because I don't know. Maybe they were a you play thing and they're just here in the bundle. Who knows? Who knows the whims of Ubisoft? And now that we crawl out of the sewer, I okay, remember the plan. Go see Leonardo. Go to the villa. Buy armor and any weapons and stuff that are new. 
Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo. Where is Leonardo? Yeah, no, where is Leonardo? Ah, he's over here. Should be. Can I not decode my code? Ah, oh, there's Leonardo. His L looks like a diamond amongst all of the other similarly shaped symbols. But at the same time, Leonardo is a diamond. Because he is a charming fellow. Shines bright like a diamond. Perfect timing. If you take 500 whatever Assassin's Creed meters to be good timing. At the same time, I don't really need the money. I have tons of money. I have all the paintings in the world. And soon I'll have all the armor. Soon I will have everything. Except for the feathers. God damn it, the feathers. Even if I wanted to 100% them, it would be exceedingly difficult. <laughs> because I would need to look at a map, and then the map will show all of the feathers everywhere. And then the only way to be sure is to go to all the places that I've already gotten them. And I've almost gotten half of the feathers. Because I think I have like 33 feathers? Something around that. Be gone, loot man. You will not steal my money today. You will not help my enemies. I think I'm going the wrong way, but eh, rooftop way. It's slightly faster. I'd kill you if my knives were capable of it. But my throwing knives are quite dumb. I am just going to quickly check. Any of you fine ships have a feather? Just that one from earlier? Got it. Whee! Don't run me over with a gondola or if you want to live. My god, he stood on a barrel and then left. What a madman. The citizenry of Venice are easily surprised. I shall tear you down, and then I climb. I still don't understand, like, tearing down the diddly dees suddenly makes people forget your face. Especially considering so many of the guard put the wanted posters in very dumb places. Game, why? Why in the world would you ever do that? Why in the world would you ever do that? Hey, you wanna fight for me? You're gonna pay for that. Die. Why do the Borgia messengers are like, I'm gonna throw myself in danger. He was behind me the whole time. Kill him, man. You are now out-armed and shall die. Goodbye to your knee. <laughs> and then my uh, my merc <laughs> mercenaries just decided to do the finishing blow. That's all I needed from you. Thank you for killing random dudes with me. Just need to get to Leonardo's place. Knock, knock, Leonardo. I have more papers for you to decode. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I have puzzles. <laughs> Leonardo would be the type of guy that would love a puzzle box as a birthday present. Doesn't even have this any money in it, just, you just puzzle box. Here. And unlike his Florence residence, we have to go all the way over here to go on a boat. There are no land routes into Venice, only boats. Who needs land roads? I can jump the land. Who needs to jump the shark when you can jump the land? Is it really traditional remedies if uh, they are remedies of that era? 
I invented it five seconds ago. It's a traditional remedy. Obtaining better armor will provide maximum health bonus. I sure hope so. Now we go through, buy anything that can be bought. Except for the painter. The painter has nothing. Do you have any pouches that I can buy? Ah uh, yes, my favorite. Able to store more poison. That thing that I never use. And then it is automatically equipped. Come again, please. Victory lies in preparation. And being a jerk by unequipping my goddamn armor. So I have to go re equip it all. And, uh. No, no, no. It's down here. Why is that door locked? It goes into the same bloody room. Yes, yes, yes. Weapon room, but we want to go into the armor room. Oh, it's because it's that room in there, technically. And, uh, the Altair. And it just comes as a set. <laughs> oh, hey! I didn't realize! The flying machine and the cart! <laughs> nice! Let's see, did I... Only one! I'm missing one! Bloody codex. Yeah. One bloody codex. We can't just assume the land in there. I'll grab my money, drop off whatever feathers I have, return to Venus. One bloody codex. It's probably story. No, would it be story? Because. All of the, well, maybe it'll be story codex and that it's a codex that's like, ah, oh, over here is thing. And then we need to, like, get it, I don't know. Again, it's been a long, long time. But that should be just about everything. Except for my... I wish to interact. So that I might see what all the collections I have. We have all shops, all renovations, all, a lot of, again, two, oh, those are the models, yes. Those are the models. I am dumb. Uh, for all this time, I was like, models? What model? And then I would finally go into the armory room, and that's where it is. Apparently, we don't have all the weapons, though. Sadness. But we still need feathers, codexes, portraits. So we're on our way to having pretty much everything. Huzzah. Why are we even here? We already renovated everything a long time ago. I don't know the exact year that we renovated everything, but it was like 1483. We have had this place completed for years, but the architect just decides, I'm going to stick around. At least this place is all nice and made pretty. Take me back to Venice, you bastard. Then I think the Thieves Guild? No, it was more like... Uh, I don't even know where the thing is, so we'll go to the middle. I forget where the mission was. That is, we go now. Yes, we already got the truth. That apparently they dug into his memory so hard that he flashed back to some of the first humans making pieces of Eden. And yeah, we could do assassination missions, but I really want to get on, get along with the story. Because the assassination missions aren't really anything interesting. They're just like, kill these guys without being seen, without starting a fight, diddly diddly dee. And then they're like, arbitrary difficulty must make harder. Which again, it's just still so hilarious to me. That the final glyph was technically so easy. Again, I'm fairly certain that it was just, oh, 
I go uh, just put in random symbols and I unlock it. Or it is... I highly doubt it, but maybe it was just luck that I got the proper symbols. Tiddly he. Fat man? Who is this fat man? <laughs> there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. Hello, Every fat man. Please don't be an asshole Patricio. like the other Doges. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. <laughs> he had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. He had it coming. We've located Silvio Barbarigo for you. He's fled into L'Arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can nope. you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has so, yet to if you want to kill him before he leaves. And this little stunt of Silvio's yeah. has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of Larsenal. So I shall but go and like, hey, and you see. hate this guy? Would you like to give me men to kill him with? Don't know why that's open when it's not open. Yes, 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 assassination contracts unlocked. Let's read about him. Silvio Barbarigo. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. That's harsh. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a surrounding And then he plot killed his uncle. The Barbarigos. You're going to love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant oh, that's for the children in the central courtyard. While Silvio escorts the parents Are to the, the kids room, die? he toasts or the family, them. then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. So a plotter, a plotter, a plotter, a plotter of plots. Well, we still haven't killed Dante, but again, despite the little history thingy thing, aka, not really history history, but you know, Assassin's Creed history history, little diddly dee. He's supposed to be kind of an idiot unless he's directed, seemingly. Despite him seeming quite functional for the most part, despite getting stabbed in the brain. The Doge hasn't done anything because the Doge does not exist. The Doge has not been hired, ascended. Let's take a look at the map just so we can know where we're going properly. Yeah, so about any which way works. Once again, really do enjoy the Assassin's Creed soundtrack. It's just really well done. Hmm. Maybe I should, like, search for... Assassin's Creed soundtrack on YouTube so I can just listen to the various songs on repeat. That would be nice. Occupy my mind. That's just like, no, there cannot be silence. If there is silence, I go mad! Because that is the brain. It is a horrible little thing. Only the height of the smithy arts are available here. Please. Uh, somebody dying? What are you doing all up here being dead? Please. You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stags. I will I save your boss, man. Deeper into the district. <laughs> North of here. Uh, 
Poor man. Liberate Bartolomeo de Alvino. That's not his last name at all. Why? Is this suddenly an area of, hey, don't go here. We're probably because we're going to come back. Usually that only happens when there's a mission to be done. It could be that because maybe it's similar to uh, the one place, Forley, where one of the assassination contracts took you to a boat out on the sea and there was already a, hey, you were not supposed to, you're not supposed to be here, si a signal thingy. So it is entirely possible that another assassination contract happens there. But I could have sworn that the... That wasn't on the map before. I just wanted a feather. I definitely hear him. We'll just wait for him to give up looking for me. We'll come up behind him and snap their necks. That's very annoying that he's like, I don't want to turn around properly. You are literally a mercenary man. But I guess you say means uh, literally your dignity and our honor being sold. And not just mercenary. Who even saw me? Just you, my dude. Well, these guys are now gonna die. We. Hug tech. I killed all the people. <laughs> goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. <laughs> That's quite all right. Who are you? I am Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What Guards are mean? here. Down there. Walk up to them stop and then them. say that you're here to stop them. Oh, my too, my he has a broom, because he doesn't have actual weaponry right now. Hey, man. Attack me so I can kill you. I shall attack your friend, since you are being mean. Ah, now I can grab you, and I can kill you. Kill you. To go. Agree. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. That is actually correct, because two hundred mercenary. Uh, mer yep, yeah, I was trying to be Italian, but I failed. One to two hundred mercenaries and his utility. But that one's trouble. We'll go by the ground, because you probably aren't good climbing. Wish I could... Will you kindly stop, mate? I'll take your weapon, because... Dear, dear, the dear chat told me to do that, and it worked rather well. Yay for learning with Ezio Auditore. Silvio set these men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, no need. Bartolomeo is Except you don't have a sword with you. My brain, for some reason, thought we were going a different direction. I am Le Foul, but I am no fan of Gaston. Oui. 
let's do it. If you value your life, <laughs> pulls out hammer, makes sword yeah. sound. What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll yeah, he has a sword now. A cage, and you'll go into the ground. Just Hear the two that. of you. I could just do this. Although, maybe taking your sword off you might be fun. I need to do that more. That's really effective. I hope she Immediately, I, I know this guy's talking about a sword. Or some kind of weapon. That's just the kind of guy he is. There's no way it's not a sword. Bianca! Bianca! Is everything alright? <laughs> what do you think? Look at this place. And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. He's a funny little Charmed. man. So, I know your name. Silvio Barbarigo must die. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. <laughs> Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot in good conscience... Shall do. I already did this for the thieves. Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there. And if you count so. shooting that murderer, I also did it for the courtesans as well. Well, time to go and liberate the machinery of Venice. Out of the way, people. I'm here. Me, Ezio Auditore da Varenze. Game, please. I want to go. You know, the game is like, no, you cannot go. Fine, I'll air assassinate you guys. What to do with this lot? Yes, little frog man. You can do the dance. You can do it, frog man. You can do it, frog man. I don't think you can do it. <laughs> and there goes the tail of frog man. <laughs> He's gone. Bye, frog man. Uh, hello, mercenary. <laughs> That's a lot of mercenary. Many for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. No wonder there was a lot of them. Four of them stayed behind. Whatever you say, Doctor Statue of Liberty. Look where hello? you're going. Thank you. Come on, fight me. I'll take your sword from you. Fight me, not them. So I can... Ah, uh, come on. I want to take your sword. Yes, let me take your sword. Not as effective as I hope. Hilarious that blending into the group of people that are murdering him made him lose track of me. Whatever you say, game. The guards must be crazy. Again. I blended in with their attackers, and it somehow worked. 
I would like to actually be able to target the people that I'm attacking. No, my mercenary. Uh, you don't see anything because you're dead. Technically, I want to save people from being killed without good reason. We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. My army grows. All right, this way. Would you like to move in to my villa in the countryside near Tuscany and Florence? We could use a small army to protect it with the sequel coming. And what happens there? That's like one of the one, the one story thing I remember from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. <laughs> That works. I am now infamous. Dang it. I wanted to uh, take your weapon, not get swept. And then he just forgot about me. The guards must be crazy. You're not like the others. You were literally trying to kill us. join you. Together we will crush the Barbarigo. Now I need to go kill a politician and bribe a herald. Is that a feather? God damn it, there's a politician that needs dying. But no, feather. Here, politician. Politician, I come for you! Goodbye, your friend is dead. Give me your sword, big man. Thanks for the sword. Imagine dying to a hit to the head. Ah, big weapons. Sir, are nice. I even like that because they're disposable weapons that you don't keep with you. They stay for the death. This, this feels nice to use. I can't believe I forgot that was like a thing. Uh... Oh, <laughs> what? I got spawned in on! <laughs> I got spawned in on, man. Imagine if I tried to walk in there like, I'm going to kill this guy because there's only one of him immediately surrounded by seven other guards. That would have been bad. <laughs> I need to buy more medicine. Do you require a medical Just don't want to use That's too it. much medicine too, too much. I saved your merchantery. Want to go kill a man? Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. He even cleaned up his place Welcome. while I was gone. My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and have them chase me. The Oh. Because will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Exactly. Why would he even send out his people? Let's hope he takes the I guess we disrupt oh, some worry. of his goings on in the he district. Will. I guess that works. Assume the position. Escort the mercenaries to the strategic locations marked by Bartolomeo. Andiamo. Come, my dudes, we got to go and do things. This is kind of a retread of the other thief mission where we killed guards with 
thieves taking their place because we wanted to light bonfires. Why, guards? We aren't even... They're not even fighting. Allow me to weave between them. You are all alone. And now you are dead. That was weird. Maybe because they're needed? That was very odd. Silence, fun. There is very much this need for aggression. We have murder to do. Once again, nobody's fighting anyone. Is this a glitch? This feels like a glitch. Uh, not one that I'm all that bothered by, all things considered. Wait here for my signal. As you wish. That's kind of funny to me. That apparently when guards get into conflict with these mercenaries, they immediately just stop what they're doing and have a staring contest. Hilarious. And also, the, all the guards we come to kill are on high alert at all times and catch my attacks. For some reason, my hug techs don't work against these guys. Are you actually gonna fight? I don't. Nope. Still not fighting. Hilarious. I try to go in for the hug tech. Where it's just like they're alerted to me, but I can still stealth kill them. But it doesn't work all the time. At least for these guys. Usually it takes a decent amount of time to go by before I can, like, fail my hug tech. That works. Where you wait. Send word when it's time to You'll hear the eldritch call of a kookaburra. Hug tech. The friendly hug of me stealing your money. I don't need the money. But it's such a dumb place to put money that I have to take it. It's like if you saw a million dollars as a one dollar bill. Just on the sidewalk. You're gonna take it. Also kind of funny, I was like, oh, if you find a $5 bill, it's just, oh, that's yours. A $20 bill, oh, it's yours. Oh, but if you find a case of a million dollars, suddenly you have to return it. Pfft. Oh, the lunacy, you know. If you lose a million dollars physically out there in the world, I should be able to take it. You weren't careful with your money? That's your fault. Are we supposed to refund people who make stupid investments too? Ah, there you are. They are placed throughout the district, ready to murder. All your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume it's a, you a giant firecracker. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. I hope it's not actually the, the tallest attack. place in the district right, because those are horrible for me. That you will. Two birds, one blade. Signal the attack, then assassinate Dante and Silvio. Oh, we actually killed Dante this time. Even though he was part of the previous. Nope, this is not the right one. Darn. 
Uh, and you normally I take offense to that, but uh, he might be right about that this time. You hear the strum, the strum of the loot man. He comes for you. He comes for us all. And God damn it, it is the just, yeah. It is this one. It is this one. I hate this one though. It's terrible to climb. Climb, climb, climb. Dang it. Come on, I want to climb the cross. Is it really that bad to climb the cross? I mean, I'm going to be climbing a bigger cross here in a second anyway. Alright, I still don't know where the proper... Maybe it just wants me to jump into the water? Ah, oh, there... I'm so far away that I can't even see the safeties. Of the hay. Good. I will just fall then. Look, Ma! No hands! What was that? War! Call for war! Please put me on the ground, because I don't want to jump. Daddy. Oh, he's fighting Dante. I'm losing. Bartolomeo needs my help. Yeah, I don't... I don't... Uh, <laughs> don't want to... Uh, I don't want to risk the biscuit. Thank you. Last time I did it, I died. Because <laughs> the game didn't let me actually see where the safeties were. But now I get to go kill Bartolomeo. I can't jump from their game! Cause you don't tell me what's safe to jump! Cause you designed bad! Also, his health wasn't low. Oh, cause they want me to swim. I guess. But yeah, his health wasn't low, game. Must return. Come on, I could have killed you. Come on. Never mind. I'll just get on the other side of this guy because he uh, wants to die. That's you there. Well, that was kind of annoying. It's just like, oh, your ally died. No, he didn't. A fine specimen, isn't he? You should be honored to die by his hands. You're pretty dumb, aren't you, Don? Or do I have to actually fight him? We need to stop the or can I not kill him? Oh. Guess we'll just have to beat him down a bit. Come on, give me a weapon. You are very rude, Dante. You are very annoying. Also you, Silvio up there in the sky. You are very annoying. I want to kill you, but you are very mean. Can I just... Leave me alone, guards. I'm here to murder. I'm 
busy killing your friend. I still don't know if this is one of those ones he can't die or dizzy flee further. I wanted to kill him! Which is kind of weird why you can't have... That's the problem with Assassin's Creed. You can't really have boss fights. Because they have health. And you can instantly kill people most of the time. Normally, in Assassin's Creed, you can just kill people. So, they don't work as boss fights. They just don't work as boss fights. You're not getting game... Game kind of screwed up with my camera again. Stop it, game! Stop taking control away from me! God damn it, I hate that part of this game. That's the one thing that I hate, where it's just like, suddenly, we're gonna fuck with the camera. <laughs> fuck you, agile guy. And then he falls into the water. <laughs> LOL! That works for me! What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Rome. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want. They want. Non temete l'oscurità. I had to deal with Dante so much. And I didn't even get to kill him in combat. And the one time I could have gotten a double assassination on him, the game was rude. And didn't let me get it. And then I teleported. Well done, Magical man. teleportation. Silvio is defeated. And the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory. I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But I cannot join. Fear my work has just there is there more places murder. I must go, more people I must what murder. Do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. Now I just need to. It's like, game. Do I get Letter to Dante? Dante Moro? Acquired. Memory sequence. But did I get a codex? Do I get the final codex, or do I need to beat Rodrigo Borgia? And then apparently I also got paid from the villa, at the same time. And Venice is once more! Rebuilt in two more years. So two years passed. I still love the animus constructing place animation this game has. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. Is it a codex? Oh. Uh. It's Larsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus. You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? How grand. Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo, when did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. <laughs> it's better be good. Oh, it is. 
It is. Walk with me. Stay close. Oh, last two. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I guess the ones that I brought to him. But when story wise, I realized the markings on the back clarify into words. Here, the prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Magic. Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. Leonardo is Mario, the most trustworthy man in all of Venice. A prophecy hidden in the Codex, leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Hire the mercenaries to walk Grandioso. with us. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden. And, bring and you never went to, to Cyprus Venezia. yourself? To when beat the them up? When the piece is brought to the floating city, the prophet will appear. Only the prophet can open the vault. My god! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. Which is usually the opposite. See, usually young people are like, oh, prophecy! Even the Medici, my father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. The Spaniard. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borgia. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully, hopefully. And let me see, do I have but a single? Nope, no codexes for me. Hmm. Should I just continue? Hmm. You dare look at me like that? But I don't think that the. Well, we'll quickly take a look at a blacksmith. To see if there are any new weapons. Because the game did say that I do not own all weapons. I already stole this, so you don't exist anymore. Get a new job. I'll quickly see. Do you have any weapons? If so... Wait, that's armor. Me dumb. Nope. But I think we shall end uh, the game here now. Oh, wait. Unless... There might be one more. We'll, we'll finish off the viewpoint, see if there's a, a final codex that we can get. If there is a final codex that we can find, and doodly D will come back and place it into the villa... But if there's nothing to do over there, once we do all the viewpoints in the new district, we shall end the stream, and if it just so happens that we manage to go all out and beat it next time, because I don't think doing, like, the various mini things are that interesting, past a few novelty bits, so yeah. Viewpoints, look for codex. Oh, and I, I didn't even finish my thought because brain's running a million miles per hour. What I was getting at was if we manage to beat Assassin's Creed 2 next time that we stream this game, we'll just head directly into Brotherhood. Because I don't think that there is any Assassin's Creed games that I care about between... Two and Brotherhood or any of them. The only one that is like mildly interesting is like Assassin's Creed Rogue. Hug Tech. Hug me. So yeah. We'll do all of these. If it turns out that we beat Assassin's Creed 2 in reasonable time next time we stream, Brotherhood is on the menu. So that might be neat. Continue our adventures through Assassin's Creed Dumb. Oh, I love these buildings.
because they make it so hard to tell where the safety to jump is. Well, at least not this time. At least this time I'll be able to fall back safely. Trust fall with hay. There it is. Oh, the final copy. I think that is actually the final codex. If it is the final codex, then I am heading right back. Yes, final codex. We're going to get that final codex. We are going to have it decoded by Leonardo. We are going to head back and uh, complete the se uh, secret. Will be done. Wait, I can just do this. How dare you? This is a mace. Mace beats your puny sword. And slap it to the face. Final codex. Right here. We shall take it to Leonardo. Have it decoded. Go to the villa. Place it up on the wall. Finish the wall codex. And revel in glory. <laughs> and then next time we will go through the various viewpoints to finish up that place, see if there's anything interesting on that side of the city, and then, but that's for next time, after we decode this, put it up on the wall. Next time, we'll finish the viewpoint, since we found the codex nice and early. And after we finish the viewpoints, next time, then, only then, will we then proceed to probably finish because we butchered that group, so all should be left is the Spaniard. In fact, we can probably go to Conspirator tab. Not the database tab, Conspirators. All the people linking to Rodrigo Borgia. And all of them are dead. The De Pazzi. The various others, Alberti. Although there is hmm, a little bit of room to the kind of lower left, but I don't think we will have any more conspirators to go. Maybe one to fill that as we go after Rodrigo. Leonardo. I finished the codex Excellent. hunting. So Here is the piece. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one. How exciting! And then I can go to the villa, put it up on a wall. I just have to substitute this letter and move this over there. I've got He is it. a very fast decoder. <laughs> you know what would be funny and kind of meta if Desmond had trouble doing one of the uh diddly dee, one of the uh glyph puzzles and as Ezio he was like Leonardo I'm having trouble with this uh, novelty thing, but especially like the decoder ring ones, at the very least. Any pouches, like, here, have more gun? No. Understandable, gun is overpowered, even though, once again, don't really use it. Because me want to be stealthy, me play an assassin game. If me want gun, play Overwatch? Back to the villa, back to the villa, back to the villa to finish the codex wall. Back to the villa, back to the villa, back to the villa to finish the wall. Also, this must be some pretty good armor considering that it had to have been made uh, probably sometime in the 1200s and we are nearing the 1500s. So kind of a uh, 300 year old armor still going good. 
but yes, yes. The Codex Wall has him so happy he runs up a door. I don't even need money, but I shall collect it anyway. 69. Nice. Here it is. The final one. Oh, because it's upside down. Uh, does that even do anything? I finished the map of the world. Finishing that will have helped me unlock my final memories. So I guess we can't actually finish finish it until we finish the story, maybe. Maybe that's like a hook into future? Games. Lots of assassin bases across the world. Oh, well. At least that is completed and we don't even have to really worry about it until the game says Codex Wall. And then we can come and say, hey, we already finished it. Huzzah. And probably not going to finish the feathers anytime soon because we're not even halfway done with them. But yes, but yes, we made lots of progress. We killed more men. We finished the Codex Wall. We got Altair's armor. We actually did a lot this stream. But next time, we have one final target to wrap things up. Because... Because mm, I don't know... Mm, 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 mm. Uh, eh, fuck it. Let's go ahead and finish it. Let's go ahead and finish things out. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Again, we only have Rodrigo Borgia. We only have like a set of... But, uh, there's an entire district of things. But if we focus purely on that, because we have nothing else to worry about, we'll just do the viewpoints. We'll just do the viewpoints. And then we'll um, just go to town on the final mission. Missions. Also, I find it kind of funny that... We haven't, uh, run into any, like, uh, beat-up challenges or delivery challenges since for uh, not Forley, uh, was it Forley? Yeah, it was Forley. Which is kind of amusing to me. There was the, uh, chase, diddly D available, but I don't want to do the chase. Me, I want to finish this. Oh yeah, we also finished the glyphs. We've done a lot this stream. We finished the glyphs. We got Altair's armor. We're about to even finish the whole game. This ladder feels like it shouldn't be staying upright. Give me a hug. Because you're up here, and we are both man, and man cannot go where man cannot go, so therefore man can go here. Shut up. I know what I'm talking about. But yes, we will do all the viewpoints, see if there's anything of worth in this area. And then do the main missions to finish out the game. We got the armor. We got the glyphs. We finished the codex wall. We got everything to do. Uh, right over there. I was going to scream because it seemed like the game was heading into the way of lol, you die now. Granted, how many viewpoints? 60. We There's not 10 left in the game, are there? Did I miss some? I couldn't have. Unless there's a special extra place with even more viewpoints to grab. Because again, uh, my memory of the game not complete all the way. I remember certain key things, and then when it comes to Brotherhood and Revelations, my memory is quite bad.
bells. The bells of Notre Dame. Kyrie I must read the city like a map. And then store it all in my brain. Silence, fun! Or should I? Should I finish it all? Mm. Because again, it's entirely possible that it could go for a long time. It's. Debating, 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 debating. Compromise! Compromiso. I will look up a guide of Assassin's Creed 2 purely to try and just go about da -da -da -da. Like, I'll look for a Assassin's Creed 2 mission list just to see how many more missions there are past the one we just did. That is all I want to see numerically. Granted, they're done in memories. So it seems that there might be two memory sequences to go. Decisions, decisions. Just going to quickly see things, see things. Then we will prom. I don't know. Eh, screw it. Let's go ahead and finish this. We'll do the final diddly and finish the game because, again, we're going to just be focusing down purely on the story as opposed to the various other things. So we should be able to do it relatively quickly. Again, this is also like the final area. So a bunch of final things. So like not really worry about too much. We'll just go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Out of the way, my dude. Tower time. This is an exact copy of the uh, Assassin's Tomb building, just without the Assassin's Tomb. I find that mildly amusing. Why is all the buildings in this district crosses to synchronize with the world? All of them. Every last one. It's madness. 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 Anyone else is madness? I, ah, there's the hay. Whee! What the hay? Because again, we already found the codexes. And it said, maybe that's it. Like, we can only activate the final memories, a.k.a. the final levels, with the codexes. So we got them all early. Good to know. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this after getting all of these viewpoint towers done. 
That fisherman went for a sit despite floating through the air like a magician. I failed at my life. My brain was just like, eh. And my brain failed me. We don't even need to specifically climb this building. This is the building we climb. That's not what I wanted, game. Get my face off your wall or pay royalties. God diddly damn it, game. I won't break my neck. That's not how Ezio dies. I don't even know how Ezio dies. That would be interesting. What would happen if you forced an animus subject to live through the memories of somebody's death? I think Subject 16 probably went through that, so... Not all that crazy, all things considered. Other crazy people have already had that idea, apparently. And the final one for Venice. And then we go do uh, the final mission, of which there will still be roughly-ish, let's see, because this will be 66, there are 73, five left, hmm. that's what I was going to guess anyway. Forget, do we go like to Cyprus or... Rome, but Rome is like the setting of Brotherhood, isn't it? So it can't be Rome. Or maybe it's like a specifically small part of Rome. Might be just a specifically small part of Rome. And with that out of the way, all of this place has been scanned. Now we go to the main mission. If we stop bumbling about... Wait, I could not five, idiota. Should be seven. Ah, tomorrow. Drop the box, Benny. Hey, I trust. We go to the mission. Here comes the oh Indeed. Mission time. Mission time. This is where I kind of long for fast travel. That's not what I want. Mm, kind of. It's mostly that I don't want to spend too much more time than necessary doing this because it's already kind of late. I need to go to the store tomorrow. But the game is so close to done. Mm, great, I'm now second guessing myself again. And I need to go to the top of the building anyway. I, I know not this building, it won't get me up there. Hug tech. So yeah, we need to go up there. But we cannot climb. We need to actually go through there. Mm, ah. Brain decides to renege. We shall do the mission and finish up the game next time. Because Brain was just like debating, debating, debating. This could easily take an hour to an hour and a half extra, which would put this at five hours, which is a bit too rich for my blood. Blah. But hey, we still did a lot and put the game onto its last legs, so yay. Still, the game mostly didn't screw me over with controls. That's always nice. <laughs> Even with it having the most major part where, hey, it would have been nice if it actually took control of my camera, but then chose not to, but still, we got the glyphs, we learned the truth, got Altair's armor, 
I think finished off the last Templar lair, but maybe there's one more in Rome or Cyprus or wherever the remaining towers of viewpoints are. Who knows? But yeah. Things are going good, like in this game. We finished the Codex Wall. Things go good. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, all of these streams end up on the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where I upload them, such as Mass Effects 1, 2, and 3, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, just tons of games there. And if you're one of those people that are watching this on the Archive channel, I will stream these games all the time on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings, although I am potentially going to try and multi-stream in the future, just because, hey, why not? I can get it set up, possibly. Bibbidi bop. But, yeah, if you want to catch these gaming sessions live, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And if you want to know specifically when I go live, make sure to check out the Twitch channel's schedule tab, where I try to keep it up to date if I stream later in the evening. You, and then you can also like check and see what my normal times are on my regular days to see if you need to check about if I might do a spontaneous one. Because you never know. But if you really want to stay up to date, you can follow me on Twitter, and I'll usually send out a tweet saying that I'm going live to let people know. And then I delete the tweet when the stream ends so that nobody thinks, oh, he's live, but it's been five hours since I actually streamed. And also it doesn't clutter up my Twitter page. Bah. And speaking of Twitter, if you'd like to see more of my glorious little art, similar to my little avatar buddy in the corner, you can catch me posting art on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.